Hello friends, welcome. My name is Sarveshwar. In this video, we would learn how to run Johansson's co-integration test in RF Studio. This is a very useful test, friends, when we have uh, two known stationary series and we want to test for their long-run relationship. We use co-integration. So, friends, for that purpose, R provides a package URCA unit root in co-integration package. So just install that package and use library command for that. And another package that is very useful for that is VRS vector auto regression package. So I have installed these two package friends. These two packages are URCA and VARS. Now just import the file you want to study. This is my file that includes log prices of uh, some series uh, suppose I say I would consider the daily log prices of agri sport agri, uh, agri sport and uh, similarly agri energy futures and energy sport prices friends these are daily prices of energy future series energy sport series these are energy index maintained by uh, Indian Community Exchange MCX so these are already in log Term, so I would not take log of them and uh, one more thing just to ensure here friends when we run co-integration Johnson co-integration it should be ensured first that both the series are known stationary at level so I know I had run uh, ADF test just to ensure that both the series as we know in finance generally all the series are known stationary so I know that I am attaching the file so that it can read the files from the column label itself and for testing the co-integration purpose here the null hypothesis is there is no co-integration and we will discuss further as well in the video. Uh, here we had four series so I want only two series to be tested for co-integration. It could be n number of series like more than two as well. Here I am considering only a bivariate case for ease of uh, explanation so here we have two series suppose I take two series energy futures and energy spot so for that I am combining the these two series here I am combining these two series by C bind command that is column bind command energy spot and energy futures prices and making a new data frame that is energy okay friends now I click on that so now we have a new data frame that contains two series energy sport energy futures log prices of them this is this contains known stationary log prices okay friends now we move to run a var model uh, here we need to fit a var model just to identify which is the lag length we need to choose for co-integration for that purpose we don't need to run exactly the var model here we can use a command that is var select this is the command friend we can use var select what it would do it would run the var model many times for different number of lags and identify the best lag length for which we can run co-integration model so that is var select command and energy is the file name we had created by combining both the price series we are considering so here you could have different variables. So what are the variables you are having? The known stationary variables and the file you have created by combining them. Just mention that file name here and then mention the lag max, the, the maximum lag length you want to consider for the var model. And here I am running what kind of model var like it constant model or constant and trend model or, sim, or a model without intercept and trend. You could uh, put that as well. So uh, I say suppose this is uh, the command I run and it runs all the run it runs for different lags and selects uh, and gives us different lag length here by AIC criteria and then Queen criteria, Swartz criteria and FP criteria. So suppose I follow AIC so I take 10 lag length criteria I can directly use dollar selection command here to extract this upper line only in this way. So I can see AIC it gives me 10 leg length. So when I conduct the Johansson test I would select leg length 10. Okay friends so far I am clear. Okay now we go further. Now we 
use the conduct uh, and now we'll conduct Johansson co-integration test friends as we know Johansson co-integration can be done by two ways it has two test statistic first is maxim eigen value test statistic and second is uh, Johansson tress test statistic so first we would conduct maxim eigen value test so here friends uh, we would use a command that is ca jo ca dot jo jo for johansson okay friends and the variable you can like in on the left side co in test i have mentioned you can take any name x y z whatever you take so i am creating a variable co in test which is like uh, ca dot jo in bracket this is your formula for that energy is the file name that contains the variables k is the lag length we had chosen from the var select model type is eigen test if you want to use stress test then mention stress here and ec that is like constant model we are using here constant in the uh, model and spec is transitory so friends i am not explaining these two things here uh, this thing like spec is equal to transitory i am keeping it because this is the result i get when i run the same model in eviews okay friends so if you want to go in detail you can go to the pdf of the package so i want to save my time here but this is the equation by which i get the result those are most near to the eviews so now i run this command and create a co interest variable if i see this it gives me a co integration test result and the test statistics we are getting here so we can expect by giving one or two here um, by these command co interest at the rate test stat in brackets 2 i am extracting the second value 49 and the first value 4 okay friend these are my test statistics so first test statistic by giving 2 i am getting here is for the null hypothesis that there is no co-integration or we can say number of co-integrating vector is 0 and second by putting 1 square bracket 1 if I am getting the second value I am getting here that is for the null hypothesis that there is only one co-integrating uh, that we are having at least one co-integrating vector okay friends so we have two values now we need to get the critical values from the test so you can use at c well critical value command you can use this command at c well okay friends then run it go in test object at c well so i have copied that output here and if i see at five percent level then we have the null hypothesis r is equal to zero at five percent level the p value uh, sorry the critical value we are getting is 15.67 okay friends so now we know and we know that the value we get from there is 49 earlier from that so the value we are getting the computed value of the test statistic is more than the critical value so we reject the null hypothesis and infer that there exists co-integration but when we go for the next hypothesis the p value for r is equal to 1 is 9 point sorry the uh, test statistic is 9.24 this is a critical value and the value we had got was 4.13 since the value we have computed 4.13 is less than the critical value we cannot reject the null hypothesis and we infer overall that yes there is co-integration and the number of co-integration vector is only one here so this is the way friend we use co-integration test in r here i have mentioned johnson uh, eigen value test statistic similarly we can use tress test similar but only thing you need to use here is tress that's all friends earlier we were using eigen now we use tress and all the things are as same as we had used earlier so why don't we do that as well so now we are having the same thing we can extract the test statistics for the null there is no co-integration for the null there is at least one co-integration we are having the values but the critical values are different here for the stress test so get them as well 
for r is equal to 1 the same values we are having so here we know friend the value we are getting for the one is 4.13 which is again less than 9.24 so we cannot reject the null hypothesis for r is equal to 1 and when we say the null hypothesis r is equal to 0 the number of co-integrating vector is equal to 0 or we can say there is no co-integration the computed value we had 53.63 but the test statistic we are having is 19.96 hence we reject the null hypothesis because our computed value 53.63 is more than the critical value at 5 percent level 19.96 so we suggest that there exists co-integration between these variables and they share a long run relationship okay friends this is the way we use Johnson co-integration R makes everything very easy and very handy okay friends keep watching